80 fishing. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Trying to get the 62 agility so I don't have to run the goddamn circle to Konar every time. I'm halfway there. 160k marks we to go. Yay, there we go. 45 hunter. Thought I'd just quickly bang this out since it's super fast and all, but uh, we got the level 45 bats, tier 4 bats. That's gonna help because some raids there's only bats to start. Okay, I'm gonna try something pretty risky. Uh, but if it works, then it'll save me a lot of time from having to find a, a you know more picky layout. So this this layout is pretty similar, just no vanguards. So that means like high level brews and stuff don't exist. But I think I can maybe get away with the uh, level sixty five brews. All right. So with this setup, I managed to get here in thirty minutes, which is a lot faster than with vanguards. But yeah, we got the shit pots though. They only heal 13 adults instead of like 18, 19 with the plus that you get from vanguards. Alright. So uh, yeah, it turns out I'm doing a decent job using uh, mid-level Bruce. So I guess I don't really need vanguards, man. But this is number 10. White light. It's okay because I can get the relic. Oh wait, two planes. Wait, wait, that's really good. Yeah, I'll take it, man. The two planes is sick. Oh, Monka. Ah, please. No. One more chance. One more chance. Oh, my God. Please, please, please. Yes. Oh, my God. That was scary. Actually freaking scary, dude. Okay. All right, boys. We're good. We're good. But holy shit. This is why I need my Mystic Bottoms, bro. But this was close to a sub hour, though. Ah, uh, that's okay, though. 24.5k points, though. I will take it, dude. This was a good raid, yeah. I'm very happy with just using regular pots for prep layout. This is super nice. Tablet? Oh, no. This is good, too. Yes. Death runes, bro. That's good. Mahogany planks? That's also really good. Nice. That was a pretty good raid. 26,000 points this time. No purple, but... That was good, man. That was nice. Only took us a little bit over three hours, you know, to uh, do three raids. So that's a massive improvement. But what do we get? Oh shit, the emerald's nice for crafting. I guess, I guess eventually, eventually I might get a glory if I get lucky, so. There we go, fifth kill. Oh, added seeds, dude, that's so good. Nice. What, how do you still attack me, bro? Oh, what the f Yo, we got the culture already. Oh my god, yo, easy game, boys. That was actually nuts, dude. 16 kills, bro. Isn't this a 1 in 500? Holy crap. Dang, what? Holy shit, man. I, I can't I can't believe I'm not, not going to be using the Rune 2H anymore, huh? Well, this is pretty much the, the best in slot crush weapon, dude. Best in slot crush weapon. And it's also my best in slot overall weapon. Period, because look at this, 55 strength on the rune skin, 81 strength, straight up, oh my god. And it also compares to the rune 2H as well. Wow, that's actually nuts, man. So I can easily just uh, do the same strat with the rune 2H, except I use a cudgel. Wow, man. And I can also do tecton out, I'm pretty sure, man. Uh, definitely gonna go and test some tecton out with this bad boy, for sure. It should do some work on it. Holy shit, I'm just gonna stick around Soraknus for a bit. I want to finish this entire task here. Get some easy resources with a cudgel, dude. Oh my god, a 39, boys? That might be my my max at the moment. Hey, I just got 84 attack. Yeah, we gotta train uh, our stats here. Very soon, we should uh, hopefully be hitting... 115 combat within the next few days, so that way I can get max points for raids. 85 attack, awesome, dude. I'm not gonna lie, it's not efficient training, but with 5x XP rate, anything, everything and anything feels efficient, so. Alright guys, here's loot from 50 Soraknus. The rewards are really nice. Wow, half the price came from the, the, the weapon, but minus that, the top drops are gotta be the uh, dragon bones, the sapphires, Alright guys, let me introduce you to another setup. 
But basically, the cudgel is so strong that the specialty of the two-handed sword and the specialty of the scimitar is basically combined to one. So yeah, man, I just basically saved an extra space. Only need one melee weapon. I believe the stats of the cudgel is strong enough for me to try out a new method called the 5 to 1 melee hand method. This is only possible in the Twisted Elite because of the tick reduction relic with Xerx Focus. So that means I can do 5 ohm hits for every one of his hits. It's going to involve more risk, but it will massively speed up the ohm fights. Aw, oh, dang, I even lured it all the way over there. But I couldn't really do much. Dude, did this guy just freaking run over lava? Alright, so we're gonna try to do a mixture of 1 to 0 and 5 to 1. So yeah, I'll probably just decide whether or not uh, when I need to back out and go back to 1 to 0 and when I'm able to just maximize my DPS. Alright, there we go. Okay. There we go. Oh man, that was that was weird. It was definitely faster, but man, made me panic a few times, you know, taking all that damage. Oh, Jesus Christ, again. Oh, okay. Well, definitely uh got a lot to do in order to even try to do 5 to 1 with the cudgel, but okay, here we go, boys. Hopefully it's good. Yes, dark relic, dude. Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, I'm gonna get about 50k XP from this. Oh, that's fat. Do I get a level from that? Yeah. It's a struggle right now. Oh, we found it! Yes! We found a good raid. Let's go. Tecton's in it, good layout and everything. Time to smack some Tecton with this beauty. Alright, so far so good. And the amazing thing is I can literally just do this the whole time. Holy crap, it's working, guys! Holy shit, guys! Tecton is so viable. Tecton is insanely viable. Just give me this last hit. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, dude. This Tecton only took three minutes. About, yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, definitely gonna incorporate some Tecton into my raids now. My prayer! Holy shit, my prayer is actually dying. God damn it. Yes, we have killed it. And this time, I only use one entire uh, revitalize. Alright, no more though. I can't do any more. I need to conserve my prayer for uh, the head phase. Hey, 86 attack though. I'll take it. Hell yeah. Tablet, please. Oh, Torpor's Grow! Hey, that's good! That's a good draw! Yo, freaking Charmin Ultra, bro. I'll take that, man. Hell yeah. Oh shit, this thing's a lot of craft XP, too. 1,300 silver ores. Alright, let's go unlock ourselves, uh, you know, our first new prayer. That's sick. Learn Preserve, yes. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Holy shit, 30 uncut diamonds. So I finished my first Zeracna test. Dude, I'm addicted. I could do this again. So guys, I'm going to train my construction to 62 right now. So I can boost with the T to make the limestone altar. Because I got some bones that I got to use. Yeah, man. Those are going to be some easy prayer levels. I really need it, honestly, for more advanced rating strats. High prayers necessary. And it's also going to boost my combat. So... Alright, so check out my plank supply guys, 500 teak planks, 100 mahoganies from raids, and that's about 300,000 construction experience. That's going to get me all the way to 62. 62 construction, there we go, nice. Alright, I should be able to uh, build the tea stuff, tea station, to drink the tea in the house for the plus 2 boost, so. There we go, limestone ultra made. Hell yeah, bro. Preserve cave and clutch, because, uh, yeah. I didn't know I had to chisel the limestone, so I had to bank again. But yeah, man, we did it. Limestone altar, there is uh, simply nothing better that I can make right now. 
All right, making sure we got the right ones. You know, you got you got to build the ones that take the mantles. It's been so long since I've done regular prayer training. It's actually nuts to have to do it again. So in the Forthos dungeon, there's an ultra that you can use to train your prayer after you uh, offer a hundred dragon bones or baby dragon ones, and that one is three x the rate with bones. The one that I have in my house is 2.75x. I prefer this one because it's way easier to access your house than it is to actually run to that dungeon and train your prayers. So yeah, overall, this is the best one for efficiency. Oh my god! Yes, 110 combat, 69 prayer, dude. Five more levels to go for those efficient rate points. Alright, I think that's our final level with the bones that we got here. 70 prayer, I would love to be able to use these prayers, but... You know, they uh, locked it, so we're, we're going to be stuck using ultimate uh, strength and reflex. That's going to help a lot with uh, Ohm for sure. Maintain my prayer uh, points a bit more.